Hi everyone, it's Rio CloudSig. In today's session, we'll look at external authentication methods, or EAM for short, which is currently in public preview within the Microsoft Entra ID console. So what is EAM? Well, it allows users to choose an external provider to meet MFA requirements or two-factor authentication. Albeit, if that be through the use of conditional access, identity protection, or privileged identity management for just in time and just enough access. I think what's key to note here is that the user identity, um, the user metadata originates and is managed from the Entra ID console, but the federation takes place within the service provider uh, boundaries. I think we're all very used to conditional access at this point in time, but there is a service within conditional access called custom controls, which we may not be familiar with. Custom controls allowed us previously to create an applicable JSON template, which was a representation of our service provider's configuration and redirect authentication attempts or authentication requests to Z service provider uh, for our authentication then to be satisfied. And like I said, we were able to create a new custom control and um, formulate that or um, configure that in um, such a way um, that would represent our external service provider. This is now the legacy way of doing so. And now we're, we're now moving away from custom controls to um, external authentication methods, which is managed and deployed from, funny enough, the authentication method service pane. So if we scroll down here, you'll see a list of our um, already configured or ready to set up authentication methods in the Microsoft Entra ID console, but we also have uh, the option to add an external method. So what, what really differs from custom controls versus EAM? Well, one being um, EAM uses industry standards and supports an open model. Two being uh, we can manage the, the, the method of authentication the same way we manage all our other methods of authentication methods. Uh, and three being there's there's a wide range of use cases, one being PIM, one being conditional access and one being identity protection. But how do we really go about setting this up? It's very straightforward. It's really just pressing add external methods, brackets preview. And then it's asking for some given information, one being name. OK, I think what's really key to note here is, OK, we can give it a name and this is what will be show, uh, shown to the end user as and when they click the authentication method. So really be niche in terms of uh, selecting a name here. And once again, key to note is um, if you save this, um, it's unable to be changed moving forward. You would have to delete the, the method of authentication and recreate it and go through the setup wizard again and uh, go through that process of delegating permissions. So give it a name. In, in this instance, we're going to give it um, a datum, which is just a, a Microsoft example um, provided uh, by the Microsoft documentation. Client ID um, is going to be uh, this, which I'll give you a bit of an indicative of what the client ID is. Um, the client ID is the identifier from the provider. Discovery endpoint, which is this, which is just a URL endpoint. Uh, discovery endpoint. Discovery endpoint is just the open ID um, endpoint, um, which is used for authentication and that integration piece between the external service provider and Microsoft Entra ID. And then the given application ID, okay, which is going to be shown in the Microsoft Entra ID app registrations. And the, and the application ID is what allows us to delegate those permissions and that, that consent uh, amongst your directory. Uh, and like, like you would have saw, that was a that was a grayed out option. That's now changed to blue because we populated um, the information which was required. Um, if we were to uh, select request permissions, it would take us to the sign in page in which you're signing with a applicable user account uh, with the applicable roles. One being privileged role administrator and two being global administrator. So either either. We'll then click that and it will then take us to a, uh, a delegation page where we need to approve the, the set permissions. Um, it will look something similar to, to, to this, where it will, it will tell you what information it needs, what information you're about to delegate to the application um, for, for the visibility and insight of your directory. OK, as and when you re request the permissions, you'll then get a lovely green tick there to say, OK, um, uh, controls have been delegated or uh, consent has been improved. OK, this option will will then be uh, available for you to use. And this is where you, as you would do with any other authentication method, target your users through either the use of security groups or through individual users, okay? Maybe if you're rolling this out for uh, for testing, testing purposes, you may just deploy it to a, to a POC group for the time being. Okay, uh, but really, what does it look like from a, from an end user perspective? Like I said, we got, went through that process. Um, you target the users. Um, 
and then the, now there's an option to to use that EAM or that external um, authentication method we've configured within uh, within the console itself. Um, like I said, if your method of authentication is um, at the moment system preferred uh, MFA, which of course would uh, navigate uh, or di divert your users to use the number matching for the authenticator app. Um, if we scroll up, there is an option just below uh, a little policy tip which says I can't use my Microsoft Authenticator app right now. And that will then give you the option to, to pick the alternative method for um, external uh, authentication methods. There is a list of approved um, providers uh, we can use to, to set this integration up as well between uh, one being RSA, two being Semantic, three being Cisco Duo, three being Silver Four. Uh, there's a, there's a few more, uh, but really this was just a high level overview on 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 this service. It's it's new. It's in public preview. It's just been released. The Microsoft documentation uh, is is still yet to really be published. Um, but any questions, please do let me know. This was just a, a quick quick summary video. Thank you very much.